Once upon a time in golden age year 2006, Hasbro released a blaster that would change the world. So it was kind of inevitable for me to get to this thing at some point because everybody knows what it is. And if you don't know what it is, then you aren't a nerfer. You just aren't. What is wrong with you? Get a long shot. Most reviews of the long shot are extremely outdated nowadays because this itself is a very outdated blaster. It was released back in 2006 and it hasn't really changed since. And yet people are still buying it today. Why is that? I don't know, let's find out. So the long shot, the blaster of many color schemes and many different re-releases. My goodness, has this blaster been re-released more times than that stupid four-shot smart AR thing? That's a lie. It's been released more times than that stupid eight-shot cylinder fed pump action blaster. That's a lie as well. Okay, it hasn't been re-released that many times, but it has been re-released a fair number of times, and every time it's been re-released, it's the same blaster. This Zombie Strike version is no different than the original End Strike version, except for one change. They got rid of the front gun and the bipod, so the whole front of the blaster looks ridiculous. Oh, also, they made it compatible with Elite Darts. For some reason, the original Longshot really didn't like Elite Darts. Good thing for me, I picked up one of the re-releases that just so happened to include the front gun, but I'll get to that part of the review later. For right now, let's just start off with the design. To say that this thing is an icon is an understatement. This design is so well known and so appreciated because of its simplicity and yet excessive details. It's basically loved by the entire nerf community. That happens rarely. For a stock blaster, it just looks like a really rugged, well-built, shotgun-esque rifle. And for the modding community, there is so much space inside the shell that you can do tons upon tons of mods with infinite space to work. It is a win-win situation no matter what type of nerfer you are, and it brought the whole nerfing community together when it came out. Let's go over the ergonomics now. This grip is one of the most well-known nerf grips ever made and I don't like it at all. For one problem, it, this, this part where your middle finger comes in is just way too small while the bottom of the grip is really big and the top of the grip's really big. It's just this midsection. They made it extra small for no reason. It feels really weird to hold. Like it seems like it should be really comfortable, but I don't know. It just makes me anxious when I hold it. If we look at the foregrip, well, there used to be a foregrip, and that was just holding on to the bipod. But now that it's gone, it's a bit more complicated to hold on to. But you could hold on to this part down here, and it is comfortable enough. The stock is a godsend. It's so big and smooth and comfortable against your shoulder, and it's almost the perfect length. On top of that, it has the fun ability to where you can make it smaller to collapse it so that you can store it easier, even though in this state it's pretty much unusable because the stock just gets in the way of your wrist. At full extension though, it holds very well and it's never collapsed on me once. How does this blaster work? Well, you do this, you put your mag in, you close it, and then you fire once. It doesn't have slam fire, however, the internal seems surprisingly rugged, and it actually kind of jumps when you shoot it. It feels very strong, almost kind of like the Centurion. Not quite as fun as the Centurion, but still a pretty cool user experience nonetheless. Now really quickly before we get to the firing test, let me just address this stupid front gun. It has a, the same grip, but it's a bit smaller and actually a bit more comfortable. Uh, this thing is always stuck to itself. Ow! That hurt my thumb a lot. Um, yeah, it's just a pump action. You put a dart in and then you shoot it about 10 feet because that's the only range that it has. And I opened mine and the stupid little nub came out so it doesn't even fit on the barrel properly anymore. But yeah, that's basically what it looks like if you can imagine all this being the same color. It is very fun to hold the blaster like this even though your, your left arm is pretty much extended to the fullest in order to reach it. I don't know, I just thought this was worth noting. Let's get onto the firing test now. So I'm gonna do five shots without the front gun and then I'm gonna do five shots with the front gun and then I'm gonna show exactly what the front gun does. So in a perfect world, this would shoot as hard as a rival blaster or even harder. And in a perfect world, we would be able to shoot the target in the middle every single time. Unfortunately, this isn't a perfect world. We live in Brazil. Now let me get the front gun. We need extra tactics. It didn't even uh, make it out of the barrel. Lovely. <laughs> oh my gosh! I 
okay, let's actually show what this this front gun is capable of, shall we? <laughs> it sounds so bad. Oh, it's loud. So, the long shot. What do I think about it? Don't use this, ever. Without that, what do I think about it? Well, other than the end strike performance, I can see exactly why this blaster is so well known. It's just legendary. The only problem is the end strike performance. If any blaster should be brought back to the modern day, it should be this one. I mean, it deserves a re-release. Wait, what's that noise? Wait, my transmission's cutting out! Icon series the long shot. Let's talk about it. I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that the launch was probably the most modified blaster before the Strife came along. And if anything, the launch was one of my favorite blasters, and it still is to this day. But there is so much wrong with the Icon series launch that I can't even begin to explain, and it is really irritating. Let's start off with the basics though, and let's get down into it. First off, you do indeed have a end strike barrel attachment point, so you can add in the launch shot front gun if you want to. Uh, but you wanna, what you shouldn't should do is you should take it and uh, throw it out. You're bad. Um, you got the bipod, which was missing from the zombie strike on shot. You have the scope that came with the original on shot, same mold. Um, plastic on both sides, distorted plastic, but still on both sides. It came with a six round magazine, and we'll get to the magazine, believe me. Uh, the jam door I took out uh, when I went to lubricate this blaster and check out the internals before doing this review and uh, I'll explain the internals in a few. Next you got the on shot stock which was uh, adjustable so if you want to you have it out which also allowed you to hold a magazine in the back. The mag retention in this is actually pretty well considering all things considered but uh, the stock is uh well you know. Much to be desired. If you go mod 5, I'd recommend just taking some, chopping up some PVC and putting it in the back. Fully extend it, put some PC, PVC back here to stop it from being able to, uh, you know, just do that. Um, this is a sprinter, so it's going off of a sprint, and let's talk about the sad parts about it. The internals, the plunger tube has been shrunken. Uh, a fair bit, honestly. I was extremely shocked how small it was compared to the original one. I actually went over to a buddy's house to, you know, compare it to theirs, which was stock, and the plunger tube was way smaller than the one from the original one. Um, they shrunk it down so you were getting less air behind your dart, but the spring is stronger. The spring in this is stronger, but even then, before... Opening it, I chronoed it with brand new darts. Got an average of, <laughs> what, it was 70 FPS, but there I had outliers of like 20. I actually removed the air restrictor from this thing and it still doesn't fire well. It honestly is a piece of garbage. I mean, I think I could take, I could crap out something better than this. It is, if anything, discouraging to the legacy of the long shot. And that's not to say much because I mean, what you did is you take something great, like the long shot, and then you turned it into something terrible. It's like when they had the strife. That was great. And then they made the phoenix. That was terrible. Why'd they do that? I have no idea. But, I mean, if you're desperate for a long shot show, sure. But it's not the same show. And that... Probably means most of the kits for the long shot aren't gonna work. I have yet to test that because I don't have a kit for one But they're probably not gonna work. Honestly, I would just pass on this one guys. It's not worth it um, You know what? It's, just, it's so bad. I mean even the magazine quality. So the one good part about this magazine In the blaster is one well, it does come with the original magazine Which is to say that it has the original parts so if you have a bunch of the uh, flip mag Connectors you can use them Bad part about it is the magazine. The magazine is so poorly um, molded and just, just it's so. I just I'm I've dropped this mag on the ground and it cracked open. 
Um, flexi, don't you love it? This is a uh, pretty recent, brand new six round magazine. Good spin in there, very smooth compared to the rubbing of that. Uh, spring feels a lot better in here. Lots of plastic feels way better in this magazine. In this in this magazine, whatever. So uh, let's open up the internals. Okay, guys. So we've opened up here are the internals. Um, like I said before, you got your catch, you got your plunger tube. This plunger tube is smaller, and I, I I promise you it is smaller. I don't know by how much, but I do know it is smaller and it has less power in it. Um, you know, locks and trap and just you know, catch, catch, spring, and just, you know. So, I mean, obviously, like, we, we are a, you know, barrel log, you got your bandolier attachment point, you got your barrel log, uh, you know, this flow barrel part, you, you, you got the parts, you know, you got the parts. Get Hit for my long shot, there's a fit. Buy the original, you want to see my long shot? Buy the original long shot. What is wrong? It's... Yeah, you, you piece of... You're a piece of... That makes sense. Um, you know what? I take it all back. The long shot is perfectly fine exactly the way it is. Thanks for watching. Bye.